Hello children, it's Mrs Lee here. It's assembly number one and it's week beginning the 15th of November. And how are you? Are you okay? Right, well that's good to hear. Mrs Lee, well I'm still stuck at home. I haven't got very many days left though. However, let's not talk about that. Let's think about, did you wear your odd socks to school? I hope that you did. Do you know why we were wearing our odd socks to school? Yes, that's right, because of it's the beginning of our anti-bullying week. And later on, I'm going to read you this story. It's called, you see, One. And it's written by a lady called Catherine Ottershe. And if you see down here, she's got a medal because actually this book has won 15 awards wow it's a really lovely book in fact i think it might be my favorite one so far this year so we'll read that in a moment so what we need to do is our routine that's right okay so i'm going to show you a clock in a moment and i want you to tell me what the time is so i need you to think about that's right the long hand which is the the minute hand, where is it? Is it on the number 12? If it is, we know that that means, yes, that's right, it's o'clock. But if it's on the six, we know that it is, that's right, it's half past. Okay. Oh yeah, there's another hand, isn't there? There's the short hand. Now that's called the the hour hand and we need to look really closely to where the hour hand is pointing to now on most clocks the hour hand is a lot shorter it actually doesn't touch the numbers all right but it points towards them or in between them okay so ready three two one did you work it out super well done, that's really good work. Okay, what else would be on our routine board? Let me think. That's right, we have our language of the month and I would say to you, Assalamu Alaikum. And that would mean, hello in, that's right, Urdu. And you would reply, Alaikum Salah, that's right. Now give me a wave if you hear or you speak Urdu at home. I thought there was a few of you. That's super. Okay, right. <clears throat> oh yeah, and then on our routine board we've also got the Makaton sign. And this week, to match my book and to match my woo, odd socks, I want to think about the Makaton sign for kind. Now we've done the Makaton sign for kind before. It goes like this and then up like that. Can you do that for me? So we're pointing our finger down and our thumb comes up. Pointing our finger down and our thumb comes up. And that means kind, kind. And I want everybody in Hartford Infant School to be kind. So, this week, hopefully you wore your odd socks and hopefully you have been drawing on a sock. I'm going to show it to you. Three, two, one. Did you see it? And hopefully in each of the stripes you've thought about somebody who you could talk to if you were feeling sad or if you were feeling angry. It's absolutely fine to feel and angry, but I think it's a really good thing to talk about it with somebody who you know who could help you. So you might have chosen your mummy, you might have chosen your daddy, but I hope that you've thought about people in school too who could help you. Have a little look around the classroom and see if there's anybody there who you think, if you were feeling sad 
or angry you could talk to to share your problem. That's right, there's lots of people, isn't there? Maybe some of your friends, maybe some of the grown-ups, maybe some of the grown-ups that you don't see in your classroom every day. So if you were out at lunchtime, you might look and see one of the ladies in the yellow vis, high vis jacket and think, oh, I'm gonna go and speak to that lady. I don't know her name, but I know that she's somebody who can help me. Right, okay. So, all those lovely socks that you've coloured in and written lots of names on, they're going to go up on a board in the research centre. So if you're ever feeling sad or cross and you don't know who to go and talk to, you can go and look at your sock and it will remind you. In fact, there'll be so many socks on there, there'll be loads and loads of names. So I bet you'll be able to find somebody in school to share with. And that's the really important thing, children, is if you are feeling sad or you're feeling angry within school, you need to come and share with us so that we can try to make it better for you. And we will. Right, should we have a look at our book? So like I said, it's called One. Now, in this book, there is a color and the color isn't very kind. It's the color red. I actually like the color red on my sweatshirt today. But in this book, the color red isn't being very kind. Some of you might think as you hear this book about the color red and about somebody you know who's been like that, or maybe even yourself, all right? And I want you to really think hard about that. Okay, here we go. Blue was a quiet color. He enjoyed looking up at the sky, floating on the waves, and on days he felt daring splashing in rain puddles. Every once in a while he wished he could be a little bit more like, more sunny like yellow, or bright like green, more regal like purple outgoing like orange but overall he liked being blue except when he was with red <clears throat> red was a hot head he liked to pick on blue red is a great color he'd say red is hot blue is not and then blue would feel bad about being blue sometimes yellow comforted blue. Blue is a very nice colour, she'd say. But yellow never said that in front of red. She never said, stop picking on blue. Green, purple and orange thought blue was nice too. But they never told red to stop either. Every time red said something mean and no one spoke up, he got bigger and bigger and bigger. Soon Red grew so big that everyone was afraid of him. No one dared to stop him. Red picked on all the colours and then everyone felt a little blue. Until one came along. He had a different shape with bold strokes and squared corners, and he was funny. He made the colours laugh. Red saw this and got very hot. Stop laughing, he told Yellow. Stop laughing, he told Green. Stop laughing, he told Purple and Orange. And do you know what they did? Red rolled up to one. Stop laughing, he told him. But one stood up straight like an arrow and said, no. Red was mad, but one wouldn't budge. So Red rolled away. Ah! One turned to the colours and said, if someone is mean and picks on me, I for one stand up and say no. The yellow felt brave and said, me too. Green agreed and said, me three. And purple became four, and orange became five. One, two, three, four, five. 
Blue saw the colours change. He wanted to count. Red grew red hot. He felt left out. He grew hotter and hotter and hotter. Red raced over to Blue and said what he always did. Red is hot, Blue is not. But this time Blue stood up tall and became six. Red can be really hot, he said, but Blue can be super cool. Red blew a fuse <laughs> and tried to roll over Blue. But everyone took a stand and said, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seeing them standing tall made Red feel very, very, very small. Then Red turned even redder and began rolling away. Blue called out, hey, can Red be hot and Blue be cool? Red stopped in his tracks. Red can count too, said one. Red rocked and rolled and turned into seven. Everyone counts, they shouted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then Red laughed and joined the fun. Sometimes it just takes one. Super, isn't it? Everybody does count in our school. Every one of you. Some of you may be like blue, some of you may be like yellow, some of you are oranges, some of you are purple, some of you are greens. We're all unique. We've talked about that before, haven't we? And sometimes some of you might be a little bit like red. Not all the time, but sometimes you might behave like red. And then that's when everybody else needs to say, stop. Because you might be doing something that makes other people feel sad. And that's not a good thing. At Hartford Infant School, we want everybody to be... Can you remember our Makaton sign? That's right. We want everyone to be kind. To be kind. So if you're ever like Red, and somebody says to you, stop, what do you need to do? That's right. You do need to just stop. You might need to just go and take yourself away and count and be reflective Rex and think. And then maybe you need to say the word sorry and then try to be a lot more like everybody else being kind. Do you think you can do that for me? I think you can. And then we can make Hartford Infant School a happy place to be. Okay, now, again, this book will be in Mrs. Lee's office. If you want to come and look at this book at lunchtime, you can, but you have to be. That's right, quiet. You'll need to ask Mrs. Hayho in the office if you can go into my room if I'm not there. All right, it'll be sitting on the side. You can pick up the book, have a little look at it, and read through it. And then if everybody tries to be like all the colours in our book, but not like red, then everybody's going to be happy, aren't they? Okay, let's finish off now with our school prayer. Help me to do the things I should, to be to others kind and good, in all my work and all my play, to grow more loving every day. Amen. Okay, I'm hoping to see you all very soon. Have a lovely week. Bye.